Hey folks, Rick here. Today I'm going to walk you through how to create smoke and fire terrain for your D&D games or even your war games like 40k, Age of Sigmar, Hordes, or War Machine. So folks, let me go over what materials and tools you will need to make this first off, okay? So the first thing you're going to need is polyester stuffing. You can get this at Walmart or Michaels or even on Amazon. Uh, you don't need a, a huge amount of it. You can get a small bag or a medium-sized bag. I got this at Michaels and I think it was $7. So it's pretty reasonable. That's the first thing you need. Second thing you need are tea lights. These are little tea lights, LED tea lights. You can get the ones that change color if you want, but these are just standard tea lights. You turn them on, they flicker. The, the battery usually lasts about 120 hours. Uh, you can get these at Walmart, uh, the dollar store, even the supermarket. They really sell them anywhere. We got a six pack for seven bucks, so not terrible. A hot glue gun. This is a really tiny one, really tiny hot glue gun. You will need this though, really small. You will need some black spray paint. This is a two for one primer and spray paint, but you can use any just plain black spray paint, even uh, the cheap stuff that's a dollar or whatever that you get at a discount store. Black spray paint and a, a clear after coat. Kind of a mat. I like to use this little uh, hobby mat. You can, you can get these online. I think I got this online on Amazon, a hobby mat. You will also need some standard white glue. This is just like Elmer's glue or whatever. It doesn't have to be brand glue, just white standard glue and a fingertip sprayer. You can get these at any grocery store, uh, usually near the travel section, and it's just filled with water. So just a good old fashioned fingertip sprayer with water, and that's all you need. So that's all you need for this project. So let's get into where you start. Now for the regular smoke pillars, what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the plastic coating, the plastic little fake wick off the top. Um, I used a pair of needle nose pliers. Most of you will probably have these somewhere around, lying around in your house. I did try to pull this one off with my hands uh, and it broke. So I mean, obviously they're cheap. So that's the first step you wanna do. Second step, you wanna take your polyester filling and grab a clump of it. Uh, it can be a lot or as little as you want. So now, let's see how the light turns on because you want it to be brighter. So you take your hot glue gun. You can make it put glue. I'm out of glue and I have cats coming up. So hot glue on the sides. Hopefully you have a cat that's out of the way. I want to just push this on, all over on the bottom like that. Push it down on the top and on the sides. Really get it in there. Don't be afraid to get a little sticky. Look at that. Oh, it looks kind of good. Look at that. You can have them be different wavelengths too or different heights or you can do like a really big one then maybe like a, a little mini one. How nice of our cat to join us. Okay, we're gonna turn this on and peel this off with a pair of new pliers. Try to do try to be a little bit careful. Cause this I did break one already. Thank you. Thank you, Sadie. Spread it around a little bit. Like this. Go ahead and stick it on. Just like that. Get it really on there. Different sizes is encouraged. There we go. Three normal clumps. Now we're gonna go outside and we're gonna paint these. Okay. Wind's making it a little difficult today. Let that dry for a minute, for a hot minute. We'll come back out and do the clear coat. So apologies, I didn't have to move this in the garage because the wind really kicked up and blew these around my backyard like crazy. So I'm gonna do the clear coat in here. This helps like tighten them up a little bit so they're not so like flimsy. I just want these to be really stiff so they're easy to move. And then let those dry for about 15 or 20 minutes. Now we're gonna make um, the bonfire mountains. Now this is, fair, this is kind of a new technique I've never really done before, but it involves toilet paper. Like I said, just regular white, multi-purpose white glue and some water. And so apparently what you're supposed to do here is Take some toilet paper. Like I said, I'm still kind of new to this technique. And you're gonna spray some water. This is just water. And this is parchment paper on the bottom. Spray some water. And then you're supposed to take some glue, 
kind of just zigzag it around the paper towel. It's a little bit more. There we go. Then you take a little water and you spray it again and then you fold it. This needs a lot more water. Then you're supposed to kind of like wrap it around. i put a little bit of glue on here too. Just wrap it around the LED light, the can LED candle. Kind of like this. Some more glue. Water it down here. I'll take my finger, I'm gonna kind of move with the glue around a little bit, make sure it coats all around the top of it to give it some kind of concrete, you know, so it holds it together. And I'm really liking the way it's gonna look. So now I'm gonna take some dirt on the backyard, just any dirt, right? Regular dirt. I'm gonna sprinkle it all over the top of this. And I have kind of some big chunks of rock in there. So if you don't like that, you can go ahead and like pick those out. I already kind of picked them out a little bit, but man, that's a lot of, let's see, that's a lot of dirt chunks. And don't worry about the coloring looking off. You will, uh, you'll paint, we're gonna prime it and paint it afterwards. So now we're gonna do the other light. Just a nice, what you call it, a nice alternative to like paper mache or uh, a nice alternative to using like, you know, a lot of clay or green stuff. It's just pretty cheap and reasonable in terms of cost. Okay, now you get, now this is the tricky part. This is gonna have to, to cure and dry for a few days to be safe. So I'm gonna put this in the garage where it's nice and warm and someplace high where like if there's insects or pests that they won't get to it. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put on top of my car, let it sit there for a few days, and we'll come back and see what the finished results are. Okay, so these have been outside for uh, about a day. Uh, there's some gunk on them, but I kind of went crazy with all the rocks and rubble. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal it in using a base of water and regular glue. One part's water, one part glue. So I should, that might even be too much water. Pour some glue in there, and then you wanna take a brush you don't mind um, ruining like this brush and you're gonna mix it in to get like kind of like a not so much like a paste but a little watery just you want to water down the glue just a little bit you don't want it to be pasty you want it to flow a little bit so we're gonna add a little bit more water what this is gonna do is it's gonna create a seal between the rocks and the the toilet paper paper mache thing we made and you want to just dab it over Don't have to worry about it drying white. We're gonna all, we're gonna, it's all, we're all gonna paint it. We need more water and we need more glue. More glue. And we're also gonna let this dry for at least overnight minimum. You can put it outside or in the garage. Let it dry faster. I'm gonna put this in the garage. All right, guys, why uh, those dry outside after they've been primed, we're gonna go ahead and make our wood now for our fires. Now I'm using uh, Citadel paint, a Mordfang Brown for this, but you don't need the, the high costing expensive Citadel paint. You can get a, a, any acrylic water-based paint at Michael's or your craft store will work. You don't have to buy the expensive kind at all. And I'm using, but I'm using the Citadel uh, Mordfang Brown for this. I'm just gonna paint these popsicle sticks a nice brown color and then afterwards, we're gonna break them and do some other stuff. What I like to do is kind of do one side first and then we'll let it dry and then flip it on the other side. These should dry fairly quickly. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're gonna cut these in slightly different shapes and sizes. So it looks like wood. Let's do flat. See if we can break, see if we break it maybe Give it like a splintered look. Yeah, that looks good. So 
super. Looks good. You can even like do like a like a pick fence bamboo thing. Here we go. Maybe some long pieces and then some short pieces. So maybe ones that are all the way long. Maybe like four. You know, and then some that are like maybe halfway. Okay, so now we're gonna do a process called dry brushing and that involves taking a kind of a large brush that's been frayed because this is my dry brush, my large dry brush, and just going ham back and forth lightly over the top of it. I have a fortress gray here from Citadel Paints. Put a little bit of gray on here. Pray that the cats don't jump up here while I do this. And we're gonna get a lot of the, the, uh, the wet paint off of it by doing this on the... And then we're gonna slowly go back and forth. Slowly go back and forth, getting those edge highlights. Now see if I didn't seal it in, there would be a lot more dirt flying around. <laughs> Buffy! <laughs> Buffy, you made a mess! Oh, Buffy! See, I'm already kind of chipping some stuff off. Now I'm gonna get some white. And my cat has decided to just sit right here, okay? You're gonna push that out of your way. It's very subtle, but you can kind of see the edge highlighting happening here. <laughs> you gonna help? My cat's going to help. You gonna help, Puff? Hey! I'll make sure to remove cats from the vicinity of the area. Can I do this? Are you gonna supervise? I don't wanna do this too hard. I usually dry brush very, very hard. But I'm gonna go a little lighter. <laughs> you okay there, Buff? Look at that. Ignoring the cat, you can see the difference. That will not be the end of the dry brushing though. We have more dry brushing to do after this. So now we got to take these off, but you got to be very careful because I already broke one taking them off. So I'm going to cut these ones instead of trying to pull them off. There we go. We got one done. Make sure it still works. Beautiful. Still get that nice little light. Look at that going up. So once that's done, we're now we're going to hot glue these things together on top of it. I want to create like, a spot for the smoke to rise. So let's go and organize these so we know by length. So each one of them kind of gets the same kind of gist. We have long, medium, and small pieces. Be sure to avoid kitty cats being kitty cats. Sadie, let's not play with that. Cats are playing with everything because that's what they do. They're key cats. To put these in here because Buffy was like, let me go in here. Pretty good, right? Stevie, Stevie, that's not a toy. <laughs> okay, all right, go. No, <laughs> you're being a butthole right now. I burned myself, that's bad. Now we're also gonna dry brush this a nice black. So I'm gonna take my other dry brush that I had white originally, rinse it off and scrape all the white off of it. I'm gonna do some black, hold on. So these are sprayed and uh, clear matted and I got some more polyester foam and sprayed it black. And I'm gonna do this one first because this one's gonna be a little bit easier. Cat hair everywhere. This is just gonna be like one that you shove it down right here and I'm gonna put a bunch of hot glue down there right here and I'm gonna use these, uh, an old brush, an old junk brush, this is all crapped up to push it through, to push it in and really get it jammed in there. Now this one's a little bit more tricky because I didn't have like a center hole here. I'm gonna actually have three different uh, little smokestacks coming out and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna all glue them all together at the top. So let's see if, see if I can get this to work. One of the last things we're doing is we're gonna make a, another seal on the bottom so it stays together more and slides a little more easier. Although it slides pretty good now. I'm just gonna go ahead and 
Put some hot glue here. Put some hot glue on the bottom, press it down on the parchment paper. We're gonna let that dry for a second and then that'll create, give it a little bit more, just of like a seal. And then that's it. Let's get this on the table and see what it looks like.